Hi guys, I'm Tish. Welcome to my channel. A big hello from Australia. It's a rainy day today, so what better thing to do than make videos? So I plan to make a few videos. Let's see how we go. Um, it's a bit of a crazy weather in this side of the world. We have had a lot of rain. So speaking of which, I'd love to hear which parts of the world, which cities you are you know, joining in from. Um, just say hello, tell me where you're from. Love to hear from you. So getting back to today's topic. So it's, it's not so much, it is a topic, but so what I am doing with my videos is one of the things I'm doing is using my own personal experiences to then talk about how we can learn, grow, you know, make life easier for ourselves, um, get less stress, more calmer, more balanced. Uh, so there's a lot of like a holistic uh, approach to uh, my channel, uh, how we can be basically healthier, happier, you know, calmer. So using my own personal experiences. So when something comes up uh, and it's fresh, I want to do a video and talk about it while it's fresh in my mind um, and we can explore a bit around that specific example and, and experiences. So over the weekend, so just a very quick background um, uh, for those of you that haven't seen my other videos, at the moment I am actively supporting uh, a movement uh, for a celebrity in India that uh, was murdered, Shushan Singh Rajput. So I will talk a lot more about him in the videos and I'll explain in those videos why I'm talking about it. So as part of this movement, I'm actively, you know, writing posts on Facebook, giving my opinion. So it's a big murder mystery and there are millions of people like myself that are part of this movement that are you know standing up for justice for him uh, and others that have been murdered so it's, it's a big thing there's a lot you know i i have a very analytical mind um so i am able so there's a lot of murder mystery involved there's a lot uh to the case and the public have become like fbi so we all kind of you know uh, making observation you know thinking about clues, trying to, you know, solve this mystery, trying to get him justice. So anyway, cut the long story short, I've been very involved in this. So I'm doing all posts, I'm commenting on YouTube, what I'm thinking. Um, and, you know, the, the feedback from my comments are nearly all the time quite positive. And, you know, we're talking to like-minded people that are part of the movement. So over the weekend, I got this, I wrote a comment somewhere, some video, and I got a reply to it. And it's, I don't know the exact uh, quote, but it was on the lines of it being highly offensive. It was nasty. It was nasty. It was saying, using words like you dumb, blah, 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 uh, calling, you know, calling me names. Uh, it was, it was shocking for me because I, I you know, I never get to <laughs> feedback like that, but it was really, yeah, it was really offensive. It was really rude. Uh, it was uh, using, you know, uh, swearing or whatever it was um, in terms of like dumb and idiot or whatever uh, they said. Now, what I, the, what they replied to my initial comment was nothing that would really, uh, a healthy minded person would respond that way. It was a very legit uh, intelligent question, right? Because I've checked this with other people I know. So it was nothing wrong with my question. So this is the response I got, you know, being called an idiot, you know, is my mind. Da, 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 da. So naturally, you know, being, being a human being, I was found myself getting angry. I found myself, you know, boiling to an extent. It's like, who the hell are you to call me? Blah, blah. You know, this person doesn't know me. You know, there was a legit question. I'm getting like this really negative response um, and, and there's a shock factor, right? Because I'm not used to it or the, generally most of the uh, feedback is well said, you know, da, 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 all these things or, or there's a disagreement, which is fine, but never such a, you know, offensive comment. 
So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, it, there's a bit of shock, there's anger, uh, you know, being upset and like, you know, mind is racing as to what, you know, there's a real need to reply back and say, who the hell are you? You know, naturally, how we would respond, like, you don't know me, how can you make a comment? You know, what's your language? All these things are coming up. It's like, who, who are you to tell me about how intelligent I am? And then I've had, you know, the mind starts to go, you know, uh, you know, I've, I've came first in my university, you know, I've, I'm known for being an intelligent, intelligent, smart person. So, you know, there's a need to say all these things back to this comment. There's a defensiveness coming up, right? Um, so just imagine yourself in my shoes. As a human being, these are the, some of the natural response to someone um, without any reason or any logical explanation is putting you down, you know, having a go at you, calling you names. So of course I'm going to respond. I'm not, you know, I'm not Buddha where I'm just all Zen, not yet, that I'm working towards it one day <laughs> to be more calmer, right? So I'm getting all these, I'm being aware that I'm getting all these, uh, you know, my feelings are getting escalated. I'm getting angry. You know, I'm talking to my husband and I'm like, did I, did I just, uh, you know, get this whole thing wrong? Is that, what do you think of my, the question that I asked or my comment? And he's like, there's nothing wrong with it. And then I'm like, okay, so he's, he's fairly intelligent, logical man. So I've, I've got some sort of reassurance. Okay. It was, it's not my comment. It's not. So there it's also self doubt. So what starts to happen is if you get something like that kind of comment, you start to question, not everyone, but some of us start to question ourselves. Did I write something stupid? Did I say something that called for that response? You know, even though I knew, you know, 90% I knew I was on the right track. Uh, so, so I got it validated, you know, make sure that, you know, I didn't get my facts wrong. So I'm like, okay, cool. And he's, he's like, you know, he's going on and my husband is going on and saying, you know, when you're on uh, social media, you've got to expect people like that. Not everyone's going to be logical, positive, uh, you know, uh, polite. You've got to have to expect that. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I'm well aware of, you know, the kind of negativity that's out there in, in the social media. And this is heads up for myself because I've just created a channel. I have to expect not everything is, everyone is going to be Buddha, you know, polite, you know, logical, intelligent, smart. We all going to be all different levels. Okay. We all got different backgrounds, different issues. So I've got to be prepared, my, prepare myself for that. But that aside, um, different topic, this particular example of what happened and the kind of feelings and emotions and thoughts that was, you know, boiling up within me. So I'm, I was conscious of that. I was aware of that in my mind, I'm typing a reply to say, you know, should I, you know, I say, just shut, shut that, you know, a, a lot of stuff that, you know, you'd naturally want to respond back. So I'm aware this is happening in the body. I'm getting angry. My mind's, uh, you know, also thinking about the kind of reply I can, I am aware of the defensiveness. I'm getting defensive. Uh, and then I thought about it and I'm like, calm down. You're going to get a calm in a situation like that. You have to calm down. This can be applied to a lot of different similar scenarios. It doesn't have to be social media. It could be, you know, in person, someone saying something very offensive to you. So it's the same principle. So the best thing to do, if you find yourself being aware that you are getting angry, you're boiling up, you're getting defensive, you know, all this unpleasant feeling is starting to rise up. We have to really straight away as you know, whatever way, calm down, whether it's taking day breath or actually removing ourselves from the situation, walking away, you know, saying I, I'm, you know, I need to go walk away. If you can't control yourself, calm down. Number one, we have to calm down. Do not respond. Do not respond back either on social media, typing post verbally on, on the phone in person. Do not respond back when you're highly, highly emotional. Okay. So we have to learn to really calm down before you get even more, you know, you erupt like a volcano. Okay. So that's the first thing. So I calm, I sort of calm myself down and then I sort of, you know, you know, again, this is all being human. Then I started to still think about it. It's still, still be annoying. You know, it's, it's calmed down, but I'm still annoyed. 
and I'm still like, this is not fair. So this is getting into the event has already happened, but I'm carrying it on in my mind. So um, there's a video I've done on the story of the two monks that's worth watching. Um, it's a really good story of how we carry on the negativity and suffering in our mind. So this is getting into that. So I'm not going to talk about that because that's being addressed in that video. So I'm carrying on. I'm carrying on. I can't let it go in my mind. And then I decided that, you know, I am not going to give my time and energy and effort into replying to this person because really it's not worth it. This person is obviously not stable you know, mentally healthy or whatever her, the issue might be, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give light to that. Okay. So I said, I'm not going to respond. So I decided not to respond. Number two, there is, so there's two parts to it. One is not to respond, not to give fuel to that fire. And chances are they're going to come back and say something even ruder. Then you're going to get more angry and say something else. That's going to, you know, fuel the other person. So these, there's a high chance this would get into a fight and it's going to escalate and it's just going to spiral, spiral out of control. And, and you're just going to, you know, you're just going to get more and more angry and the need to reply back, the need to reply back and come back with a, you know, bigger argument or a bigger comeback, um, a bigger comeback. Anyway, so I decided not, this is not worth my time, not my effort. So I didn't respond. Number two. You can let it go, but you have to also let it go in the mind. It's no point that, you know, I decided I am not going to respond to this person. It's not worth it. I'm going to be the higher person. I'm going to let it go. But in my mind, I'm like, effing idiot, effing this, how could you do? I'm still carrying on, right? So you have to let it go here as well in the mind. Just truly let it go. And then I sort of, you know, gradually, gradually started to let it go. And then, you know, there's something, and this is when I'm getting into the something beyond the mind. Okay. Well, call it an intuition, call it a higher self, whatever you want to call it. It felt right that what I did was the right thing to do to not add fuel to the fire. Okay. So it felt right. So this is, so I knew, okay, good outcome. Actually, it's, a, it's, a, it's me being a higher person. It feels good deep down. So that means I'm doing the right thing also. So that's the, the bigger moral of the story for this video. Uh, the other thing is to watch out for uh, as part of this particular topic is ego. So when I saw that comment about, you know, calling me names, you know, uh, questioning my intelligence, etc., the ego would kick in. Okay. The ego, the mind, you know, similar, similar. Um, I don't want to get technical on it, but it's the ego. Okay. So the ego is getting, you know, affected. It's like, who the hell are you to call me an idiot? Who the hell, you know, the ego is getting uh, aggravated. That's the ego talking, right? So you got to be aware of, again, it could be used in a number of different examples when your ego starts to come in. Okay. Cause that's, that's, that's the big thing. Okay. That needs to be managed for many, many things in life and many, many reactions in life. Okay. So we got to manage the ego. So, the ego was saying to me, you know, I, I'm not dumb. I'm this, did, did, did all these things. And then the ego was saying, I'm known to be intelligent. I am, you know, I came first in, a, you know, some, you know, all through high school, university. I mean, you know, that's ego. That's still ego, right? And the need to defend is ego as well. So you got to watch yourself. Now, the, the other thing that I wanted to call, so apart from the ego being a big part of this example, the number two and how to manage it is to be aware of it first. Okay. And then manage it. So it doesn't get the best of you, which I've already talked about before by not responding, by not escalating, by not, you know, letting it get the better of you, the emotions, the thoughts. The other thing is, let's just say hypothetically, I was, I was, I had issues around my intelligence. So based on, let's just say, this is again, hypothetical examples growing up, I used to get bullied and being called dumb. Okay. And then what happened was I started to fail exams later on in life or whatever that just validated that, you know, as a child, let's just say it's going back childhood as a child, you know, I've got bullied for being dumb. It's, it's in my belief, right? It's starting to be in the belief. 
then I got failed in exam. Every time I failed, that belief is reaffirmed. Okay, so and, uh, subconsciously or what up deep down, I'm starting to have this self belief. I am dumb. I'm an idiot, right? And then it kind of got validated throughout life. Life every time you had a failure, every time you had something that was got to do with intelligence. So I'm talking insecurity. So let's say I went through that example of what happened in the weekend. And I, am a, I have insecurity about my intelligence going way back, right? Imagine reading that somebody that, you know, doesn't know me, but some, you know, someone is, is calling me an idiot, dumb, et cetera, et cetera. What would happen to, how would I feel then? Okay. And so, because I experienced a lot of anger and all that in this incident, there might be even more there would be this really, really, a lot of self doubts. It's going to, it's going to be the trigger of self doubt. Okay. It's going to trigger more self doubt. Oh my God, I got, you know, dumb. It, it's going to, it's going to, um, that, that hit that weak spot that you've always had. Okay. So it's going to bring the insecurity out even more. So the emotions and reactions would be even greater. Okay. There could be like a sadness, you know, real hurt. And it would bring out all this stuff that you may have buried in the past. We may brought that out. So why I'm mentioning insecurity is when we have a strong reaction, part of the channel is about it. It's about being conscious, okay, of our feelings. Why are we feeling certain ways? Because they're signposts, feeling, and I will do more videos on these emotions and feelings and the whys and the root causes. But be aware, okay, be aware if something a comment is generating a lot of feelings and hurt or whatever. Be aware, try to reflect on what's been underneath, 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 underneath the root cause. Okay. Because you'd be surprised what comes out. So again, if I was insecure about my intelligence, there would be, you know, if you reflect on it, you will get to the bottom of, okay, because I'm not, you know, I, I doubt my intelligence. I've been called dumb before as a child, I've been bullied. Okay. So, and once you, all these things started coming up, then, you know, you have to make peace with it. You have to heal from it. That's, that's another topic. So, you know, one of the other big thing about my channel is getting to know yourself. And I will definitely do a video on this. We have to really get to know ourselves, our past, our triggers, our childhood stuff, and how it plays in today to, with our reaction, with our default reactions and behaviors. So anger is something that's my default. And I, I'm going to do a number of videos on anger because that's a big one for a lot of us as well. So anyway, so it was uh, going back to my example. So yes, so getting a nasty comment, how the e ego comes into it, you know, how, you know, might be cases where insecurity comes into it, how best to respond to it. Okay. So in this case, I didn't give attention to it. I chose not to attention it to it. I let it go and I let it go in the mind. And you know, the higher part to that, it, it felt right. And that was the end of story. Okay. And it was like a good, good example to bring into the video today to talk about that. And had I not, had I gone with my, you know, when I had, I responded when I'm really, really angry, 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 chances are that person would have come back, fired me, fired at me even more obscene language. And that would have pissed me off even more. I would have responded. So anyway, I, I feel it was a good outcome and I feel it had moral to the story. And I think it was worth sharing here with you today. So love to get your feedback on what you thought, what are your experiences, what's worked for you. Um, as always, if you like the video, also do uh, like, and if you want to hear more uh, content about, you know, personal development, a lot of things, that's going to make life easier for it. You know, feel free to um, subscribe to the channel as well. And if you press the bell icon, it'll let you know next, every time I do a video. So the plan at the moment is to do one video a week. We'll see how we go. You know, things always come in. If I can do more, even better. So until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.